Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to share with you how you can create a page in Google Sites for sharing folders of files. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm already signed into my Google Sites account, and we're going to take a look at a dummy site that I've set up a while back. Let's go ahead and create a new page. And we'll just call this page uh, File Cabinet of Resources. You can call this, you can title the page anything you want. Uh, what's important is this next step here. We're going to select a template called File Cabinet. And for the sake of ease of navigation, I'm just going to put the page at the top level. And now create our page. So here in this page that we've now created, we can see it's now here on our left-hand side navigation, we can easily add any kind of file and create folders within this page itself. Let's go ahead and look at adding a file directly from my desktop. So I'll click the Add File button. And we can pull in anything that we have saved on our computers. I'm just going to pull in a quick little screenshot picture that I took a little while ago. So I'll upload that picture. And there's the file. And you can see that someone visiting the page can now view that or they can download it. Let's add another file quickly here. We can add multiple files at the same time. And we'll pull those in. And now let's go ahead and add a file from Google Drive. So we'll say add from Drive. And I have all kinds of files in here, including a video file. Yeah, let's say I want to pull in this file. There we go. We can add that in. And we'll see that's now selected down at the bottom there. Now, the reason that this one doesn't have a download button is that this file that I pulled from Google Drive uh, has view only permissions set on it right now. Now let's go ahead and look at how we can make folders. So let's say I have four different classes. Let's go to move to and say new folder. We'll call this uh, my period one class. And I'll select this file here and I'll say move to period one. Now if I want to make another folder, we'll just go to move to and say new folder period two and again same process we can just say move that one to period two and do the process again here so there's period three we can move that one into period three there we go and we'll make one more folder And now I'll select that file and I'll move that to period four. So now I have four different folders here on my on my website, and I can add the add things to any of these folders at any time just by going in and either adding from Drive, adding a file, or adding a link. And of course, adding a link will be just a hyperlink to a to another web page. And if I want students and teachers, parents to go directly to this this page, I'll just give them this address up at the top of it to access all of those folders. So that's how you can create a file cabinet of resources on Google Sites. For more tips like this, I encourage you to visit freetechforteachers.com.